Hi, I am Santosh. I will explain you experiment number 7, determination of charge to mass ratio of an electron by Thomson method from course number PH110 physics laboratory course. First, we will learn the equipment and its units and then we will perform our experiment to collect data for further calculations. So, let's start. This is our EYM experimental setup. It contains a set of Helmholtz coils, a bulb having some arrangement inside for production of electron beam and voltage and current control with this experimental setup and a scale and pointer arrangement for measurement of diameters of the electron beam created ring. Inside this bulb there is helium gas field and some arrangement has been made for production of electron beam. At one end inside this one a filament is kept. When a voltage is applied there it will be heated and it will eject electron beam through another side of this tube system and we can see there are two plates these are deflecting plates one is horizontal and one is tilted upside if we apply some voltage toward these plates then the electron beam will be attracted towards the plates respectively in this experiment we uh, don't require it so we will not give any voltage to these deflecting plates there is a set of Helmholtz coils in this apparatus. The coils have 160 turns each and their radii are 0.14 meter. This scale will be used for measurement of diameters. This scale has a pointer here. This pointer is a tube type arrangement. It has a vertical bar at one end and a plus mark at another end. As we can see in the system there are two switches. This is for deflecting plates voltages which will be off throughout the experiment. When this switch is off there will no use of this knob. Here is the voltage control knob. With the help of this knob, we will give voltage inside the bulb to heat the filament. With the help of this switch, we will press the clockwise mode and then in the clockwise mode, there will be current flow in the Helmholtz coil which will produce magnetic field and the current will be controlled with the help of this knob. To start this experiment, we first check all the knobs is at minimum condition and these two are in off mode then we will switch on the power button and we will give a voltage near about 200 volts to the bulb and we will wait for some time we will get an electron beam inside the bulb as we can see we are getting an electron beam due to helium gas we are getting a green color beam here now we will press this current switch in the clockwise mode and we will increase the current in Helmholtz coil and we will set it to 1 ampere. Now I am increasing the current in Helmholtz coil. As we can see due to the magnetic field produced by Helmholtz coil the beam is now making a circular loop. We have to take the diameter of this circular ring at different voltages. The current is set at 1 ampere. As we can see with the change of voltage the diameter and the center position of this ring is changing. We will take its diameter at 5 different voltages range from 100 volt to 200 volt. The voltage is set at 120 volts. To define the diameter 
we will run this one on the scale with our eyes on it and with the help of markers of plus and this vertical line we will define the diameter we have to be careful we have to take the reading of diameters not the chords we will take the observations at end part of this ring means outer part this is the lhs position in first set at 120 volt we are getting the lhs position at 5.1 centimeter this is the rhs position we are getting the rhs position at 12.3 centimeter this is the lhs position in set 2 on a scale it is at 5 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting it at 12.3 centimeter this is the lhs position in third set we are getting this position on a scale at 5.1 centimeter this is the rhs position we are getting this position on a scale at 12.2 centimeter now the voltage is set at 140 volts in first set at 140 volts this is the lhs position we are getting it at 4.9 on a scale this is the rhs position on a scale it is at 12.7 centimeters for second set it is the lhs position on a scale it is at 4.8 centimeter this is the rhs position we are getting this position on a scale at 12.6 centimeter for third set it is the lhs position on a scale we are getting it on 4.9 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting this position at 12.8 centimeter now we set the voltage at 160 volts in the first set at 160 volts this is the lhs position on a scale we are getting this position at 5.1 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting it at 13.4 centimeter for set 2 this is the lhs position we are getting this position at 5.1 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting it at 13.3 centimeter for third set it is lhs position on a scale we are getting it at 5 centimeter this is the rhs position on the scale we are getting it at 13.3 centimeter now the voltage is set at 180 volts in first set at 180 volt this is the lhs position on a scale we are getting it at 4.9 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting this position at 13.7 centimeter for set 2 this is the lhs position on a scale we are getting this position at 5 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting it at 13.8 centimeter for third set it is the lhs position we are getting this position at a scale at 5.1 centimeter this is the rhs position on a scale we are getting this position at 13.8 centimeter now the voltage is set at 200 volts in first set at 200 volts this is the lhs position on the scale we are getting this position at 5 centimeter 
This is the RHS position. On a scale, we are getting this position at 14.3 cm. For second set, it is the LHS position. We are getting this position on a scale at 5 cm. This is the RHS position. On the scale, we are getting this position at 14.2 cm. For set 3 at 200 volts, this is the LHS position. On the scale, we are getting this position at 5.1 cm. This is the RHS position. We are getting this position on a scale at 14.4 cm. Now the data collection is over. We will switch off this equipment in the reverse order. First we will decrease the current. Then we will switch off this clockwise anti-clockwise mode. Then we will reduce the voltage to minimum and after that we will switch off the power button. This is over now. Hence with the help of our laboratory manual and data collected from this video one can calculate the charge to mass ratio of an electron. Thank you.